Okay, good morning to all of you. Last class we solved a few problems in Laplace transform, and uh, we understood how to plot the region of convergence. Right? Causal signals ROC right sided, non causal signal ROC left sided. More than one causal signal ROC right side of rightmost pole in the S plane. More than one non causal signals. ROC is left side of leftmost pole. If causal, non causal mixed, then we have to solve the problem probably between any two poles. Okay. Last problem also minus B to B, that is the region of convergence. Next, bilateral Laplace transform, unilateral Laplace transform. In the problem, nothing is mentioned. We have to go with bilateral Laplace transform only. According to the given signal, your integration limit may be changed. Okay, unilateral Laplace transform mentioned. We have to follow strictly this integration zero to infinite only. Please remember this. If it is mentioned, you find the unilateral Laplace transform of some signal x of t. Then follow the formula integration zero to infinite only. We will solve some problem. First one, find the unilateral Laplace transform of del function. Unilateral Laplace transform, you have to use the formula integration 0 to infinite x of t e power minus st dot dt. Del function. You know how to integrate the del function. So del of t has a magnitude one at t equal to zero. Okay. So del of t dot e power minus st. This product is valid only at del of t equal to zero. Del of t equal to zero one. So in the rest of the equation, wherever t is there, the t is replaced by zero. So your result is one. So Laplace transform of del function result is one. This one important formula. Similarly, here x of s equal to unilateral Laplace transform. So formula itself zero to infinite. U of t, u of t magnitude one from zero to infinite minus infinite to zero magnitude zero. So zero to infinite magnitude one. So u of t one. E power minus st dot dt. If we do the integration, e power minus st divided by minus s. Substitute your limit zero to infinite. T infinite e power minus infinite zero minus into minus plus e power zero one one by s. So x of s equal to 1 by s. So Laplace transform of Laplace transform of u of t result is 1 by s. Laplace transform of del function result is 1. Please remember this very important formulas. Del of t Laplace transform 1. u of t Laplace transform 1 by s. Okay. Similarly, some other basic formulas available using unilateral Laplace transform formula. We will derive Laplace transform of x of t equal to cos omega naught t and sin omega naught t. So what is the formula for unilateral Laplace transform? Here u of t nothing is there, but the question is find the unilateral Laplace transform. Find unilateral Laplace transform. Formula becomes integration zero to infinite x of t e power minus st dt. Do the integration zero to infinite cos omega naught t e power minus s t dot dt. 
cos omega naught t we can write it as e power j omega t plus e power minus j omega t divided by 2 okay e power j theta plus e power minus j theta by 2 e power minus s t dot t d so we can divide this equation uh, 1 by 2 taken as common term so integration 0 to infinite e power j omega t multiplied with e power minus s t so if you take minus s t outside s minus j omega naught okay first term dt plus integration 0 to infinite e power minus t outside then s plus j omega s plus j omega naught this term and this term minus t outside s here j omega okay after this simple integration and uh, limit substitution, we will get the final answer for x of s or Laplace transform of cos omega naught t. So 1 by 2 is the common term e power minus s minus j omega t divided by minus of s minus j omega naught. Substitute the limit 0 to infinite plus e power minus s plus j omega naught t divided by minus of s plus j omega substitute your integration limit okay. solve it <coughs> p infinite e power minus infinite 0 minus of minus plus e power 0 1 so 1 divided by s minus j omega naught here e power minus infinite 0 0 by anything 0 minus of minus plus 1 divided by s plus j omega so further if you simplify this particular step s plus j omega naught plus s minus j omega naught divided by a plus b into a minus b <coughs> a plus b into a minus b you can write a square minus b square so s square minus j square omega naught square j j j square value minus one this minus will be cancelled so s square plus omega naught square j omega naught j omega naught cancel your result is 2s divided by 2 into s square plus omega naught square. This 2, 2 will be cancelled. So the formula for Laplace transform of cos omega naught t. Laplace transform of cos omega naught t. The result is s divided by s square plus omega so this is another important formula followed by del of t u of t cos omega naught t laplace transform s divided by s square plus omega naught okay. next d you practice this problem by yourself in the similar manner Find unilateral Laplace transform for sin omega naught t. Sin theta equal to e power j theta minus e power minus j theta divided by 2g. So use this formula and follow the same procedure. You will get Laplace transform of sin omega naught t. The result is omega naught divided by s square plus omega naught square. Right. cos omega naught t formula s divided by s square plus omega square sin omega naught t laplace transform omega naught divided by s square plus omega naught square 
So this fundamental formulas of Laplace transform, so which will be used for uh, inverse Laplace transform finding. Right. Next, we'll start properties. Properties of Laplace transform. I'll just list out the properties of Laplace transform and solve few problems using properties. First property, linearity. That we discuss in Fourier transform also. What linearity property says? A x1 of t plus b x2 of t. So if you find the Laplace transform of this signal, the result will be equal to A times of x1 of s plus b times of x2 of s. What is x1 of s? x1 of s is Laplace transform of x1 of t. x2 of s is Laplace transform of x2 of t. Okay. So this is a linearity property. Say for example, if x of t given 2e power minus 2t u of t plus 4e power minus 4t dot u of t. Okay. A x1 of t plus b x2 of t. So how to find Laplace transform? A times of x1 of s. Constant is 2. e power minus a t u t. Formula already we know. 1 divided by s plus 2. Here 4 is a constant. e power minus 4 to e of t. Result is 1 divided by s plus 4. Okay. What is the region of convergence? For the first part, real part of s is greater than minus 2. For e power minus a t u of t, 1 divided by s plus a, ROC real part of s greater than minus a. So greater than minus 2. And here greater than minus 4 for the second term. But I told you if more than one causal signals are there, u of t, u of t, both are causal signals. How to write region of convergence? Right side of rightmost pole. So if you plot this in S plane, sigma j omega minus 2 minus 4. ROC should not include any poles. Okay. Either from that particular pole to right sided or from that particular pole to left sided or between two poles. It should not include the any poles. So to satisfy both the condition, we should show the ROC is right side of minus 2. ROC is right side of minus 2. Simplify this. S plus 2. S plus 4. What is ROC? Sigma is greater than minus 2. Only one condition you should write. Even though two terms are there, according to the properties of region of convergence of Laplace transform, the real part of S, that is sigma, is greater than minus 2. That is the ROC of this particular problem. Individual term, this particular term, region of convergence, greater than minus 2. This particular term region of convergence greater than minus 4. Okay. So do you remember this formula? E power minus a t u t. The result is 1 divided by s plus a. ROC is sigma is greater than minus a. So this is the formula already we derived in the previous classes. So directly apply the formula. But while writing the result, you should mention ROC. This real part of S greater than minus 2 only. So cross multiply 2S plus 4 plus 4S plus. So this is your result. You can simplify this and write down your result. Okay. This is linearity properties of Laplace transform.
ax1 plus bx2. Laplace transform result ax1 of s, bx2 of s. Second property derivative. Transform of derivative or differentiation property. Okay, both are same. Differentiation property. X1 of T Laplace transform. Let's consider X1 of S. Or X of T Laplace transform X of S. Okay. Suppose if you find Laplace transform of d by dt of x of t the result equal to s into x of s minus initial value of the signal zero okay d by dt of x of t result is s into x of s minus x of zero So in the same manner, suppose order to d square by dt square x of t. The result is s square x of s minus s x of 0. x of 0 represents x of t at t equal to 0 minus d by dt of x of 0 minus. Okay, if we are assuming the initial values are zero, d by dt of x of t result is s into x of s. Remember that d square by dt square x of t result is s square into x of s. s into x of s here, s square into x of s. If initial values is zero, most of the problem they will give assume the initial values are zero. So remember this formula s x of s. S square x of s. Only two order I mentioned. Similarly, if three, four, then you have to concentrate on this particular term by assuming initial conditions are zero. Maximum order you will get one or two only for BTEC level. So don't worry. So this is a differentiation property or transform of derivative. Next, transform of integral. Or integration property. Suppose integration of x of t dt. Integration of x of t dt. Laplace transform of integration of x of t dt then what is the result x of s by s okay differentiation s into x of s integration of x of t dt x of s by s and uh, some more terms x of tau into d tau divided by s So we're never going to use this property for solving this problem. Uh, you just understand or remember the Laplace transform of integration of x of t dt. The result is x of s by s. Next. Scaling property. Or time scaling property. Both are same. Laplace transform of x of t equal to x of s. Then Laplace transform of x of a t. The result is 1 divided by modulus a x of s by a. 
this is scaling properties x of t x of s x of a t equal to 1 divided by modulus a x of s by u. So we'll see one example for this scaling property. Example. Laplace transform of x of t. Some signal, OK? The result is 2s divided by s square minus 2. Right? Find. Find Laplace transform of x of 2t. x of t. Some continuous time signal. If you are finding the Laplace transform, you got the result 2s divided by s square minus 2. This is given in the question. Now we have to find out Laplace transform of x of 2t. So in this situation, you can use this scaling property. X of t, x of s, x of a t, 1 divided by modulus a, x of s by u. So therefore, Laplace transform of x of a t, here a value is 2, equal to 1 by modulus a. So 1 by 2 into Wherever s is there, s replaced by s by 2. That is the meaning. x of s by a. All s replaced by s by a. So, s by 2 square minus 2. Okay. This way you can apply the time scaling property for solving the problems. So if we simplify this, you will get 2s divided by s square minus. Just a simple example to understand the scaling problem. x of t, x of s, x of a t, the result is 1 divided by modulus a, x of s by a. x of s by a represent wherever s is there in your a x of s expression, all the s should be replaced by s by a. In this example, a is 2. So this s replaced by s by 2, this s replaced by s by 2, and simplify, that is your result. Next. Property number 5. This is very important. Time shifting property. Time shifting property. So what it says, x of t Laplace transform represented by x of s. Suppose the input signal is delayed by t naught amount of time. Now, if you find the Laplace transform, your result will be equal to e power minus s t naught into x. So this is the time shifting properties. So using time shifting property, one example. Find Laplace transform of x of t equal to e power minus 5t u of t minus u of t minus 5. Okay. And uh, find its region of convergence. So they won't mention using the properties and uh, So we have to think so which property we can apply or is it possible to find the Laplace transform without applying the property that we have to check. 
So now we are going to use properties only, time shifting property. E power minus 5t ut minus e power minus 5t dot u of t minus 5. First, rewrite your expression. What is Laplace transform formula of e power minus a t u t? 1 divided by s plus c. What is ROC? Sigma s greater than minus c. This is, we have derived already. So using this property, first find Laplace transform of e power minus phi t ut. e power minus phi t ut. If you find a Laplace transform, your result is 1 divided by s plus 5. Region of convergence, real part of s is greater than minus. Next, we have to find out e power minus 5t into u of t minus 5. Here, the time shifting is not there, but here, time shifting is there. Then, how to find this? So, let us find the Laplace transform of e power minus 5 t shifted by t minus 5 into u of t minus 5. First, let me check. As per the time shifting property, t minus t naught, how much amount time shift? Then your result is equal to x of s multiplied with e power minus s t naught. Okay. So in this example, t naught value 5. t naught value 5. So e power minus 5s into x of s. What is x of s? e power minus 5t ut x of s is 1 divided by s plus. Okay. So this is Laplace transform result of e power minus 5 t minus 5 dot e power t minus 5. But in the problem, we have to find e power minus 5 t dot u t minus 5. So if you rewrite this e power minus t minus 5, e power minus t minus 5 t dot e power plus 25. This e power plus 25 is a constant, right? So e power 25 is a constant. So Laplace transform of e power minus 5t dot u of t minus 5. If this e power 25 goes right side, then e power minus 25. Okay. Then e power minus 25. So e power minus 25 into e power minus 5s divided by s plus 5. This is your result. Oh, sorry, not result. For Laplace transform of e power minus 5t u of t minus 5. Further, you can simplify this by taking uh, e power minus 5 outside. If we take e power minus 5 outside, minus 5. So, s plus 5 divided by s plus 5. So, this is Laplace transform of e power minus 5t dot u of t minus. Now, combine the two answer. X of t equal to e power minus 5t ut minus e power minus 5t u of t minus 5. So Laplace transform of this one we have calculated. And Laplace transform of this term separately we have done it. Now if you combine these two answer, you will get your final result. What is final result? X of s equal to 1 divided by s plus 5 minus e power minus 5 s plus 5 e power minus 5 s plus 5 divided by s plus 5.
This is your result. Using time shifting property. Or you may take this as plus five is a constant, uh, common term, sorry. So one minus e power minus by s plus five. This is your result. ROS is real part of s greater than minus five. That is also given in the problem. Find its ROS. So only one pole at s equal to minus five. So causal signal ROS is right side of the pole. So real part of s greater than minus five. Okay. Same pattern what we have discussed in Fourier transform. Basic problems using the formula directly and properties based on the properties we have to solve the problems. Step by step. A simple example for time shifting property number five. Okay, next property number six frequency shifting property. Frequency shifting property. Laplace transform of x of t. Result is x of s. Then Laplace transform of e power minus a t x of t. The result is e x of s plus a. So remember. Frequency shifting properties of Laplace transform. If x of t Laplace transform x of s, then Laplace transform of e power minus a t x of t result is wherever s is there, all the s replaced by s plus a. That is frequency shifting property. I'll give some example for this. Because already we know uh, cos omega naught is sin omega naught is Laplace transform. Right? Suppose I want to find the e power minus a t cos omega naught or e power minus a t sin omega naught. That time we can use this frequency shifting property directly. What is cos omega naught a Laplace transform? S divided by S plus A, correct? Today, just now we have solved the problem. Cos omega naught is S divided by S square omega square. Sin omega naught is omega naught divided by S square omega square. S divided by Yes, square plus omega naught square. Similarly, sine omega naught t Laplace transform result is omega naught divided by s square plus omega naught square. Now use the frequency shifting property e power minus a t cos omega naught t. The result is in this x of s term. Wherever S is there, that S replaced by S plus A. S plus A divided by S plus A whole square plus omega naught. Okay. Here E power minus A T sin omega naught T. Laplace transform. Omega naught divided by S plus A whole square plus omega. So these are Another two important formula. Del of t, u of t, e power minus a t u t minus e power minus a t u of minus t. 
காஸ் ஒமேகா நாட்டி சைன் ஒமேகா நாட்டி அண்ட் தென் ஃபாலோடு பை இ பவர் மைனஸ் எயிட்டி காஸ் ஒமேகா நாட்டி ஒட் இஸ் அப்ளாஸ் டிரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் ஃபார்முலா எஸ் பிளஸ் ஏ டிவைட் பை எஸ் பிளஸ் ஏ ஹோல் ஸ்கொயர் பிளஸ் ஒமேகா இ பவர் மைனஸ் எயிட்டி சைன் ஒமேகா நாட்டி லாப்ளாஸ் டிரான்ஸ்ஃபார்ம் ஃபார்முலா ஒமேகா நாட் டிவைட் பை எஸ் பிளஸ் ஏ ஹோல் ஸ்கொயர் பிளஸ் ஒமேகா So this all are fundamental formulas. I'll just list out some properties. Then we will continue in the next class. And uh, the property number seven. Differentiation in time domain. differentiation in time domain so what this property says laplace transform x of t x of s then laplace transform of minus t x of t we find minus t x of t and then laplace transform the result that will be equal to d by ds of x of s or in general laplace transform of minus t power n x of t result is d power n divided by ds power n x of s this property called as differentiation in time domain so differentiation in s domains differentiation in s domain or frequency domain because in the yeah, properties d by ds of x of s this is s domain or frequency domain so minus t x of t result is d by ds of x of s so one small example uh, for this how to use a differentiation property for solving the problem find laplace transform of minus t e power minus 2t u of t minus t e power minus 2t u of t okay now how to solve it don't use direct integration u e formula and all okay use the property now consider this is your x of t e power minus 2t ut your laplace transform result 1 divided by s plus a. roc sigma is greater than minus a so 1 divided by s plus 2 now consider this is your x of s x of t x of s minus t x of t result is d by ds of x of s so what i have done i assumed my signal is like this x of t is this particular part e power minus 2t ut that result is x of s 1 divided by s plus 2 now if i want to find minus t x of t that is laplace transform of minus t e power minus 2t u of t result is d by ds of x of s so d by ds of x of s what is x of s 
already we found 1 divided by s plus t. Okay. U by V formula, V square and V du. So V s plus 2 du is a constant 0 minus u dv 1 dv s with respect to ds 1 this is 0 so minus 1 divided by s plus 2 whole square this is okay i hope you remember this formula u by v v square v du minus u du so using this formula you can differentiate this particular term is the variable is yes okay if you do the differentiation uh, the constant 2 and constant 1 and all the result is 0 so minus 1 divided by s plus 2 whole square so this is your result simple example for differentiation in s domain similarly you can follow this procedure minus t whole power n suppose n equal to 2 n equal to 2 meaning what you will get minus t whole square t square so t square x of t now your result is d square by ds square x of s so based on this general equations you can find the laplace transform for the given equation wherever t t multiplied with some function or t square multiplied with some function or t cube multiplied with some function for that time you can directly use this general formula by comparing your given equation with this general formula you can easily find the laplace transform for the given signal so differentiation in s domain eight property convolution property in fourier transform also we studied the convolution property what convolution properties is x1 of t convolution with x2 of t convolution with x3 of t and so on okay. we find laplace transform convolution in time domain result is equal to multiplication of their individual transfer okay convolution in time domain result is multiplication in frequency domain so this property called this convolution properties of laplace transform okay so we know the commutative properties of convolution this is similar to x2 of t convolution with x1 of t. Your result is x2 of s dot x1 of s. Right? Or x1 of s dot x2 of s according to commutative property. Okay. So we will solve the problems uh, for convolution using the convolution property later particularly finding inverse Laplace transform. So we'll continue the remaining properties and uh, examples of remaining properties in the next class. Thank you.